We're going to take a look at the on-demand content for Sling TV, how it works, and what is available. To test this, we're going to be using our Roku 3. It works pretty much the same across all devices that I've tested at least. So to get to this menu, when you're playing a TV station, just hit the star key on your Roku, scroll over to movies, and select that. It opens the on-demand section for all the movies. You can go through the pretty popular sections like most popular, um, movies from Big Flicks, um, action adventure, comedy, documentaries, and so on. They really have it all here. Foreign films, horror, family, sci-fi, thriller, and so forth. They also have some more interesting, fun categories like... Um, well, let me get back up there. Here we go. Collections. Equal rights, car chases, New Year's Eve movies, and so forth. Better than the movies I find interesting. You can slip through some of these. 2001, Shawshank Redemption, Notebook, Gone with the Wind, and so forth. So if you're a fan of this, and let's say you like Clark Gable, you want to see what else he's available in, they got several here. Um, so not only do they have the older content, they do have a lot of the newer content. The Blind Side's a fairly new movie. Um, we can check out the director there, the movie season. Um, recommends there for different movies that are similar. We can check out everything from Morgan Freeman that's available. Over 30 options um, in here. So it is really nice. Dolphin's Tale 2, remember right, that uh, came out very recently in late 2014. Available for $3.99 in standard def or $4.99 in HD. Fairly similar pricing to what is on Amazon, works the same too. Um, so here's ET, works great. Let's check out the trailer. As we do this, we'll check out the uh, smart zoom, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. So quick loading, um, the quality is low because it's an old trailer. They didn't keep these things in as nice of quality as they kept a lot of the movies. But you see it's got the boxes around it. So let's go into settings smart zoom and turn it on and now you see it's full screen let's go back there to the smart zoom and turn it back off you can flip back and forth so if you don't want it you can easily turn it back on and off so right here is the trailer good smooth playback the quality is not the best to demonstrate this with so let's go back um, into the movies and find something more recent to uh, go and start playing. Um, let's go down here and new releases. Let's check out, let's see here. We'll kind of keep it something P or uh, G rated. Dolphin's Tale 2. We'll just get this in HD. Now to rent it, there is no pen or anything. So be careful if you have kids that they're not gonna run out there and rack up a ton of rental fees on this. So let's just rent that. It's got a credit card on file. And in a second, it should start playing. Um, some load quicker than others, but it's pretty quick. Now you notice the countdown. If you don't select watch it later, it'll just jump right into the movie and start your playing. You have 30 days after you rent a movie to start it. Once you start it, you have 24 hours to finish it. Pretty standard terms I think we're all used to. As you can see there, very quick loading, good quality. Not sure how that's coming through on my camera pointing at the TV, but looking at it, the quality looks great. Um, I'm actually having kind of a bad internet day tonight. It's a Saturday um, about a little bit before 9 p.m. Typically a slow time, but today I'm having really slow usage. Again, maybe three down, two down. It's fluctuating a little bit, but Sling TV seems to be handling it very well. Um, it does also allow you, well, as well as plays, let's go to the setting and let me show you the, let's see here, closed captions connection. Here is the different quality settings. Uh, no limits, what I got set to, medium quality, which is 0.8, uh, high quality, 1.5, and low quality, 0.5. So it works pretty well. Um, I, buffering has really not been an issue at all for me. Um, I think only once have I ever seen it do that. 
we'll back out of here and go back into the movies before Netflix or YouTube decides to mark me on that. Um, buffering has been an issue. It just aggressively um, jumps up and down in quality a little bit. Um, on demand seems to work better than live TV when it comes to maintaining a higher state of quality, probably because it's got a bigger backend server to deal with. Uh, as you see, since I've written a movie, it's shown me I have 23 hours left to go on this. Uh, let me go to the My Library. Let's see here. All Movies. Uh, right now it's demonstrating the All Movies here. Let's go back to get into the menu. Here we go. Available now. Go over to, I'm actually not sure how when I'm inside of a movie to get to the My Library. It seems like On Demand doesn't allow you to do that. Let's exit out of there, go on the TV, back to ESPN. Then from here I can hit the star key, go to watch list, and get back to the movies. I already had the Lego movie available, rented, to test it out, and now we have Dolphin's Tale 2. Now you notice that both of them show when it expires. So it's nice, it's very upfront, easy to get to if you want to pause and come back to it in the future. So let's get back into the movie section and just kind of run down this one more time. Very impressed with the selection. Um, that's a lot of the newer ones. You know, a lot of Christmas movies, uh, topical stuff. There's even a Thanksgiving section. Um, a lot of the big blockbusters, sometimes with this, you'll get a lot of new movies, but they'll be the B kind of rated movies. Um, but here it really does. A lot of, all the Batmans are here. Uh, a lot of classic movies like The Graduate um, and so forth are available. Char um, Charlie Wilson's War, The Birds, The Crow, Dumbo, a lot of Disney contents in here, Pocahontas, um, Blind Slide, Meet the Parents uh, for Dinner con Conversations, The Nutty Professor, um, Conan, Rope, uh, and The Breakup. So. Really, the selection's great. A mixture of all kinds of categories, a mixture of new and old, good for families, good for um, kids, good for mom and dad or adults to find something they want. So nice that it's there. Uh, you know, I had DirecTV and downloading the on-demand was a huge pain. This is a great step up for it. And the the streaming seems to be very comparable with major um, streaming services when it comes to quick load times and so forth. All the movies in the on-demand seem to have pause, rewind, and play. I haven't found one that does not. Unlike some of the uh, live channels which do not allow you to pause or rewind, um, on-demand does allow that. Well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down at the bottom.